There's wasps in the loft. <laughs> Double the single. So this is just a straight convert double socket, single socket's double, but it's always nice to double check, isn't it? Because they're not modifying the wiring. Okay, let's done this the other day. What's going on? Right, let's remold it. Put your name. What's your name? Put your eight. Beautiful. Okay. Not a plasterboard box in sight. Made up, earth flooded on the bottom. Drop him out. <laughs> no bad, no bad. Beautiful. Right, I've got to put two loft lights in here, but I think we'll sort that cable out first. And then we're going to add one that way, one that way. And as I said before, this is the setup I go for now, button holder. LED lamp and then there's no callback for me. Client changes the lamps when the lamps go. Mission aborted. Look. Hundreds and hundreds of bloody wasps. Oh. Morning. <laughs> Good and tag. We've got James back. He's come to help. So today, the client's kindly cleared up, as you can see, not. We have got to flush, see these sockets here. They're all low down, and believe it or not, electrician has been here to change a fuse board, look. 
Yeah, very nice. So we're going to be flushing these up today as far as we can. So we have to lift the floors up. Basically, James is doing all the work today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope so. Anyway, right. Should we crack on, James, yeah? Yeah. That's good. Okay, right, we've ripped the carpet back. And we've got a join here. Look, what's we're hoping for? We can find these cables in here, drill behind the skirt and bring that up. We've also got to add a switch spur in here and a timer because behind there, believe it or not, is a void that comes out here and here, plasterboard. So we're going to fish a cable behind here, put, an uns uh, put a flex outlet plate in, leave it for the client. We'll probably come back and fit a towel rail or something. He's not sure yet. So we're going to get these floors stripped up first and then start chasing out these walls. See what cable length we've got. I don't want to join them if we can. I hope there's a bit underneath the floor, but if not, we can do that because as you can see, this is what the arrangement is. And you can't get a plug in those sockets very easily, okay? New board, no future proofing. Okay. No test set either. Nice one. Sockets, sockets. That it, James, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the earths. So the earths aren't sleeved, so the electrician's changed the board and he was happy with that. So we've killed the circuit. You're now going to just check that, aren't you, for me? So if you go in on the, see the terminal, and then put him into that terminal. So you don't need to press oh. it, so you just, that's it. So he's into that, showing that he's dead. And if you take him out of that neutral, put him into that earth. Okay, there's nothing. There's a little bit of an, there's nothing there. And then a good practice, just go between there and there. And then we'll check it on the proving unit, okay? So that's dead now, we can work on that, yeah? Oh sure. uh, gosh. Hmm. We've got a four cable ring main. So I've lifted these boards up. We've got some sort of pipe here. They've put that, they've bodged the cables there. That's got a bit of slack on it, but now we're gonna have to sort this out. So we need to suss out what's going on with that. That's coming to me. Where's that going? That ain't coming back, is it? No, that's going that way. I don't know where that's going. All right. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. So we've had a look at this. We're gonna do some testing in a minute, but I've had a look. So we've got two ends of the ring. They've then spurred off the ring. Don't know where that goes. They spurred off it again. Goes to there. They then spurred off it again. Comes over to this one. Here. They've then spurred off in a bit of flex to there, and then that does the outside lights, which is nice, right next to the bed. So I'm going to have to, this is going to be a bit more, I've told the client we're going to have to rewire this, so it's going to be a bit more work and a bit more cost. So I now know why the electrician didn't want to produce a report for changing the consuming it. Look. We've got some high resistance on the lives. Neutrals, RN, from 3.8. Ding, ding, ding. Ertz, CPC, 0 0.60. So there is problems. There is a problem. James is gonna sort it out for me. <laughs> oh dear. We ripped out that we ripped out that lovely junction box. We've now got open circuit on our lives. Neutrals. Yeah, James, you feel that. Sandy having James, look. Neutrals, RNs. 0.37, which is you know within the scope of the design. And the CPC 61. Okay. We've got a 25 with a 15 earth. But on the lives, we've got nada. Great. So let's go and have to find that now, aren't we? <laughs> Cheers, mate. 
so we didn't so we didn't confuse all their electricians <laughs> so we're just hunting this fault now bedroom weirdly brand new colors look that tells me there's a joint under the floor which is not nice i'm going to screw that back and i'm going to go and check some more now second socket different bedroom what do you reckon hoping i'm hoping that's it no grommets shocking workmanship again who cares i'm going to say it. it is shocking where does that go look where's that go it's going down there so I just pulled the bedroom out, bedroom bed, bedroom bed, is that right, mm -hmm. <laughs> James? Hello. That socket we thought was on the ring, we thought we found it, it's not, still open circuit, and now we've just found it's a spur, off a spur, and we're going to take this one off now, and then we're going to take that one. Why do you need so many frigging sockets in here, I don't know. Just taking that one off, that looked okay, something's tight, it's in neat, so it's a spur off a spur. And then I just found another one there. <sighs> Put your hat on, James. <laughs> <sighs> this has got to be one of the shocking installations, James. Again, look at it. It's um, shocking, mate. We're going to have to just walk off the job today, I think. Full rewire upstairs, I say. That's what it is. I'm glad you were here to see that because we just took that socket off and it's just it's just fell off the wall. Uh, it's not doing anything. So the owner said to me, this was the original socket in the bedroom. They've put junctions in here and they've wired off. Okay, I'll have a look. <laughs> and it's, there's not even any cables in it. Oh, this is an absolute can of worms. Shocking. This is absolutely shocking work. Hmm. So that's our wireless socket that side. We've got, that's gonna be, that's a light injunction box. Where are all these power cables go? James. Oh, nice. One. One. Two. Spur. That's spurred off of there. Okay. There's something broken down there. Is there? What cable? No, no, no just looks like a broken uh, what, down here. Box. Down here. Oh there, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's the old junction box. That's the old junction box. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this house. So, that runs into there. Runs into there. Don't know where it goes. That then runs that way. We've got a junction box here. This needs a rewire. And that this junction, then they've spurred, spur, off a spur, off a spur, off a spur. <laughs> Great. You good job. <laughs> so a little update, we've got a solution. When obviously I rip this 32 amp breaker out, it's gonna give me one spare way in the board. Contractors change the board to no spare ways, okay? There's a 16 amp radial, does one socket in the hallway, so we're going to be able to come off back entry there, not today, but we spoke to the client. That will refeed the new lounge sockets and their office, okay? We'll then, the spare way that we have via ripping this 32 amp out, we'll put a 16 amp in there. And because it's only bedroom sockets with minimal stuff, we'll, we'll wire a 16 amp radial, refeed these sockets and all the other sockets you've seen in the bedroom. So we're going to end up with two 16 amp radials on two different breakers. Um, it's just going to be finding time to do it. Um, Obviously, I've got to build a client for my time today, um, so we'll just have to go from there. But yeah, unfortunately, um, again, I'm covering bad work, and he's had three electricians here, and they're three NIC registered electricians, okay? Um, just really pisses me off, to be honest. Um, they've paid a lot, a lot of money for their extension works. One of the electricians came with a builder, and again, um, it looks like they've just been ripped off completely. Right, we're going around the corner now. We've pulled off this job. 
Um, not literally, but you know, James has cut his finger, bless him. He's put a load of alcohol down on it. <laughs> and we're going around the corner to do a um, extractor hood. So yeah, see how that goes. <laughs> There we go. So we've done a cooker hood. James came in handy because he's about seven foot nine tall. Um, so that job we couldn't do today while well, we stripped half of it out. We're going back tomorrow to test um, test the rest of it. Um, turn it off. Get demonetized for that, mate. Yeah. yeah, you lose money, yeah, yeah. Well, that money we make. <laughs> yeah, we're going back to the house tomorrow to do a full test. We were gonna do that anyway, but obviously I wanted to do my bits first and then test it after, but it didn't work out that. So we're gonna go and test and then I've got to send the client a price to rewire all the sockets up and downstairs in the old part of the house. So see you later. Take care. Say bye, James. Bye. <laughs> now when you start a job and um, you wish you would need, ain't even bothered coming to work today. <laughs> Shockingly bad. <sighs> James, did you do this? <laughs> So we're walking off this job. We're not walking off, not bad intentions. We can't do anything today. So we've ripped out all these sockets that are completely wired crap. James is gonna hoover up. I've reinstated this circuit that still um, is spurs off a of spurs off a of spurs off a of spurs, but you can't leave the client with no power. And I'm just gonna check this one is, um, I think this one's gonna be dead enough. Have a look. James, this socket's off, mate. This one's off. In here, look. Here he comes. This one's off. We, we connected it up. <laughs>